Hi y'all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, Tuesday, June 26. Tuesday, June 26 for all signs. Now I don't know about you, but the energies, the planetary energies that are coming through are really affecting uh, my thoughts. Okay, a lot of my past memories are coming to the surface and um, I believe that I'm purging them. So maybe that's what you're doing as well. Um, I'm not sure, but I know for me, I am I'm doing a lot of reminiscing. A lot of the past is coming up to be dealt with. Okay, so I don't know if that's going on for you, but that is exactly how I'm feeling. And... Um, uh, so what I have decided is I'm going to do this daily, I'm going to do this daily vibes right here, the regular way that I normally do it. Then I am going to pull two oracle cards for each sign after this reading, okay? And we're going to go just right in order from Aries to Pisces, two oracle cards. So we're going to get an overall energy for today, for the collective. Keep in mind that this may not resonate with you because I can't reach every single person. And some people aren't open. They aren't open as they need to be. They're not open to receiving. They're not open to, to hearing. They're not open to reading between the lines, okay? To looking at something from a new perspective. They're just not, they're closed off. So if you are one of those people, I'm not sure that a reading can help you. You have to be open to change, okay? Every word that comes out of my mouth during a session, a reading, is for you. So somebody that is watching this wants change deep down in their subconscious but they're not allowing it so that's a message for somebody you have to be open to it you have to be ready for it you have to really want it okay for it to happen if you're you know you may be at the beginning stages and that's why you're watching a tarot reading who knows what this is maybe you're just curious i don't know um but the people that are the most open are the ones that are going to resonate with tarot readings, okay? Yeah, somebody is healing, somebody is evolving. Things are changing, things are changing, and you are being called to be patient with these changes that are going on within you. Um, whatever is happening, these emotions, these feelings that are coming up, these thoughts that are coming up into your mind, they are asking you to look at things from a new, new perspective, to be objective, okay? To cut things out of your life that don't serve you, okay? So that's what's going on here. Um, I feel as though there is some sort of um, I'll just get the rest of these cards. I just want to see what's going on here. Release. Yeah, somebody has been resisting a change and now they're releasing. They're they're allowing this to play out. Okay, this is what's happening with the temperance card. Allowing, allowing these chains to ha changes to happen. Now I said chains. Chains. These chains to be broke. These chains to be gone. That's crazy, right? I'm breaking these chains, okay, that have held me back. And it may feel a little uncomfortable, but as these these chains or changes come about, you know, it is going to allow you to feel more stable and secure. It is, it is. So, whew, if many of you are um, finding strength that has been hidden. You are finding some sort of hidden strength. It's like a newfound focus, a newfound concentration, a newfound ability to to push forward after after not pushing forward. I've I've resisted this change for so long. Somebody has absolutely resisted a change, but it's like now they have regained their focus. I, I know what I need to do. I do. And this is this is finding the strength to to master your thoughts, you know, to really use those thoughts as a catalyst to make yourself more secure and stable. It's using your thoughts in a positive way. 
which is a, it really is amazing I feel like somebody is is working on blending as well because this is a card of blending it's a card of of finding balance okay and and with these energies here there's a lot of balance going on okay so we have we have mental we have stable and we have focus we have passion okay so it feels as though somebody is they're, they're thinking a lot they're thinking about what is going to make them stable what is going to make them feel more secure and how they can do it what what do i need to do you know how what what how creative do i need to get what what do i need to do to move forward so i feel like somebody is is really going through some sort of shift and the shift involves releasing, releasing something that has held them back, that they've held on to for, for quite some time. Somebody is evolving. I'm not the same person I used to be. I'm not even the same way. I, it's just, that's not who I am anymore. And now I, it's time for me to really purge. So this is a time of purging, that is for sure. Being objective to, to new ideas and new ways and, and taking the lead actually moving towards it interesting Okay, so someone has decided that it is time for me to be happy, and it is. It's time for me to be happy. It's time for me to enjoy life as it is. I am, I'm going to start to feel grateful for all these experiences in my life because this period of sorrow that I have been living in isn't really serving me. It's not doing anything for me. It's time for me to move on. It's time for me to stop procrastinating. It's time for me to, to stop holding on to this obsession that I have been obsessed with somebody has been obsessed with something but it feels like they're letting it go it does because it doesn't lead to anything there's no love there and now it's time for me to see this as as the truth you know there is no love in this situation so it's time for me to enjoy myself for who I am it's time for me to allow this healing to reach its its highest level you know I need to allow myself to heal and not hold on to this old obsession whatever it is because somebody has there's been an obsession that they've been holding on to and and now I have to get creative to actually let it go because this this thing whatever it is you've been holding on to it ain't going nowhere it's not going anywhere whatever you've been holding on to isn't going anywhere and I think that somebody has come to that realization that it's not going anywhere and now I have to be grateful for the experience that I have and bring abundance to my life as it is now so I feel like there is there's been a lack of emotional fulfillment and I think this lack has caused a lot of hurt because you know it is what it is right the, the king of swords is it is what it is I see what it is I get it I understand this is what it is it is this is what it is I now see this is what it is and now it's time for me to get grounded accept the reality and start st standing up for myself it's time to do the, the right thing for me it's time for me to stop waiting around for something to grow that isn't going to grow okay I feel like somebody has you know is now coming up with a new plan to find something more stable and secure and passionate in their lives because whatever they've been holding on to there there is it's been bringing them backwards it's been bringing them backwards in life so because the wheel of fortune is reversed and it's like now i realize that this isn't my destiny this isn't you know and now i need to follow plan b you know, this is a new plan. I'm, I'm going to go with plan B. So it feels as though, you know, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or that could be you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We could even say water signs with that Ace of Cups. So all the signs are here. There's a lack of love. And somebody sees it as it is. I see what this is. 
This doesn't lead to emotional fulfillment. So I need to be happy with myself. I need to love myself. I need to work on myself. I need to be grateful for all the experience that I experiences that I had and learn from them and feel abundant with who I am. My happiness comes from within. And I realize that. So I feel like this is a day of, of, of seeing a situation for what it is. I see it for what it is. And I know that I can no longer be obsessed with this situation that is going nowhere. It's bringing bad luck into my life because I'm still holding on to something that doesn't serve me. I've been trying to control it for way too long and now I realize that it's out of my control. It's not the plan. So I feel like today is a day of accepting the truth of a situation and probably in regards to some sort of, could be love situation. I accept the truth, I see the truth. I have the clarity I need and it's time for me to allow this ultimate healing that needs to happen. I need to allow it. I need to be practical here. It's time for me to regain my focus and my concentration and start over and take the lead in my own life. Because I've been going backwards, holding on. It's time for me to stand up for myself and be practical. So we're going to break right into the signs now. We're going to start with Aries. We're going to get two Oracle cards, okay? We're going to get one um we're going to get one from this deck and this deck. This is for the sign of Aries. What does Aries need to know particularly? And I have to look up when I'm shuffling these cards because I'll get a headache trying to read them as fast as I can. So, um I just I can't I can't look at them when I shuffle. So if one falls out, I feel it. There it is. Nature. We're going to flip it over and read it in a minute. This is for the sign of Aries for today. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is I. This is for, what is it? This is still the 26th, June 26th. But this could be tomorrow, this week, whatever. Aries. Nature. Take a walk. Let the beauty of nature feed your soul. Intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. Aries. Your intuition is giving you an answer. Your intuition is nudging you. Are you listening? Are you paying attention? Pay attention to your intuition at this time, Aries, because it is giving you the, the answers. It's telling you what to do. So really, really listen on this day. Whatever your intuition, whatever your gut, whatever your feeling is, go with it. Go with it. Your soul, Aries, because we have soul in this card, we have soul in this card. Your soul is, is going through some sort of awakening of some sort. We are all born with a profound sense of inner knowing. You've been, you've been hearing something and ignoring it. Maybe you need to go outside by yourself, Aries, not with somebody else, okay? Maybe you need to go outside by yourself, sit in the lawn, because getting 
getting one with nature is about grounding yourself. It's about connecting with nature, touching it, touching it with your, with your bare body, okay? That means barefoot or with your hands or something like that. Get out there, sit down, and meditate and let those, in, let those intuitive thoughts come to you. Because it feels as though the universe is speaking to your soul and you may not be listening. You may not. So I'm here to tell you to, to take a minute by yourself to connect with nature and listen. Listen. The universe has a message for you, Aries. Go get it. Taurus. I'm looking up. Taurus. Taurus. Oh, well, that's a good one. We'll flip it over in just a minute. Help. Help. <laughs> yeah, I see. Taurus. Taurus, you may be struggling. You may be struggling with those old memories. You know, we have Uranus and Taurus. Okay, that's a, uh, that's a big deal. Big changes going on. Seriously evolving, okay, for Taurus. Um, big time. Big changes going on for Taurus at this time. Um, internally, externally. And you may be grasping. You may be grasping at this time because the changes are so... Prominent. I mean, it's happening. You're going through some major changes, and they're, they may be a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Um, plus, we have Mars retrograde, and we have Saturn retrograde, and we have the full moon in Capricorn coming up, which is another Earth sign. You guys are feeling it. Memories. Well, yes, the memories of the past are absolutely on the table. There's no doubt. Help. Ask for help. Receiving is an act of generosity. And you may, be, you may be asking for help, even if you're doing it nonchalantly. Okay. Um, I don't know about you. For me, I'm a Taurus. And I don't like asking for help. And I can't stand it when somebody says, are you okay? When somebody says, are you okay? Are you okay? I feel like punching them in the head. And I don't know if that's how you feel. But maybe you are being called to let somebody help you. Which I find that hard. I mean, I don't believe I, that there ain't anybody that can help me. And if they try, they, they would probably would want to take a couple steps back. Um, but um, receiving is an act of generosity. Can you allow somebody to help you? It's a good message. Somebody is begging for help. Whether, you know, I don't know. I do know, but, you know, you take that to heart however you want. Memories. <laughs> Ooh. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. You know, the memories are, are really, really haunting you the last couple of days. They are. They're really haunting you. And I think for some of you, it could be for somebody that has passed, but for many of you, it is for what has, has really affected your life in the past. And you may be grasping as to why, 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 why. I mean, that's all I can say is why. I'm here to say, you know, you, your answers are, are coming to you and that everything does happen for a reason. Um, maybe these memories are coming up because it's time for you to release them. You know, holding on to them is is not what's meant to happen. You are not meant to control this situation, okay? So I feel as though this is, a, for Taurus, this is a time of releasing those memories, okay? So whatever's going on is happening to progress you forward. So we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know with these very prominent energies? Okay, Gemini. What's Gemini going through? What do they need to know? Oh, this is a good one. Self-respect, Gemini. Yeah, yeah. 
It's about you. You need to take care of you, like I said in the last reading, because if you don't, there ain't nobody going to. Gemini. Gemini. Self-respect. Respect yourself. <laughs> You're the best judge of what's right. You are. You know it. Stop letting other people control your path. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then you move on. While others return often because you need to learn from you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Remember I said in the last reading, who's going to be with you when you're 70? Make your decisions based on how you feel, based on what you want, based on your life, based on your future. Keep in mind, some people only come into your life for a season. People that are meant to stay in your life forever will always be there. Trust your path. Trust yourself. If they're meant to be there, they will meet, They will be there when you get back from wherever you're going. Cancer. Gratitude. This is for the sign of cancer. Oh, beautiful. Say thank you. Experience the joy of acknowledging others. Be grateful for the people in your life, cancer. I'm not saying that you're not. This is a message from above. Be grateful for the people. Be grateful for the experiences. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. And that's what's going on. That is exactly what is going on today. Um, everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction, Cancer. That is what's happening right now. Be grateful for your experiences. Be grateful for the people that have come into your life this far, even if they taught you tough lessons. Be grateful because as you are grateful, you will call in something even better. Gratefulness brings you prosperity. You have a new beginning right around the corner. And Leo, Leo. We're gonna take this one. Priorities. Look at her. Priorities. Get your priorities straight. When you know what's important, saying no gets much easier. Get your priorities straight, Leo. When you know what's important, saying no gets much easier. Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn. Whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. You're learning something. 
you're going through a period of learning right now. You need to be open to it and you need to make it a priority to learn from things, okay? And to move on. Don't don't hold on. Don't hold on to the past as well, okay? It's time to learn something new, Leo. And you need to put your you need to get your priorities straight in regards to yourself, what you need to do for you. What is going to help you expand? What is going to help you grow? What is going to fulfill your soul? It's time to set new priorities that align with your soul, Leo. Oh, Virgo. Virgo. All of these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so feel free to listen to all of them if you want, whatever. Virgo. Faith. Faith, Virgo. Faith. You need to have faith in whatever is happening. It's happening for a reason. Take a look at her. Okay, take a look at her. She's not feeling good about this. She's not. Let me just I should have zoomed this in sooner. She's not feeling good about this at all. She's feeling, you know, uneasy with the changes that are happening in her life. But what they are doing, these changes that are happening, are increasing your faith, whether you know it or not. This is for Virgo. Oh my gosh. And you know, faith is represented by the hair font. And the hair font is about listening. It's about listening to your inner guide. They go together. So many of you are receiving messages from your inner guide that you need to listen to. Okay? Have faith. Faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. That's a beautiful message. Listen. Listen. Are you listening? Are you listening, Virgo? Are you listening to your inner guide right now? Have you been listening? You have to be willing to listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. And whenever I see this card, I see lies. I see that word lies. Is someone lying to you? Just keep that in mind. I mean, are you lying to yourself? Faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. It's about believing in yourself. It's about following your own path. Virgo, now is the time to have faith in your own path. And trust that you will be protected and you will be guided in the right direction. Libra. Libra. Strength. Peace and strength. Peace. Embrace your confusion. Let there, pe let there be peace and not knowing all the answers. It speaks for itself. You don't need to know the answers. I mean, it kind of goes with this one. Have faith. Have faith. You don't need to know all the answers, Libra. Strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Perfect card for you. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. 
You're never really alone, as we are always with you. Be at peace, Libra. Be at peace. Everything is happening as it should for a reason. You are getting stronger. Your soul is being replenished with strength on a continuous basis. And that does bring a little bit of confusion. And it brings confusion because you're, you're, you, as you feel stronger, you're, you want, you're, you're trying to, to make big changes in your life. It's time to go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Scorpio. Oh boy. Revelation. Scorpio. Scorpio. I'm going with this one. Revelation. Time to, or, or, or I didn't say time, sorry. Listen to your life. The right path will reveal itself, Scorpio. A child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us, and from their first cries, they establish themselves as a big, as the biggest part of our hearts. At this time, your life is being influenced by children. Your, your decision, whatever's going on, your decision is being influenced by children. Whether, you know, you want children or you have children or... You know, your whatever this is, whatever's going on in your life that you are struggling with, it probably has to do with children. Listen to your life. What is going to be the best decision for all the people involved? The second card for Scorpio that came out. Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out. If they see you're at a low point. Oh my gosh. This is for somebody I know. Okay. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there's always hope. However, that resonates with you. The right path will reveal itself. It will. Trust. Sagittarius. Oh, independence. And receive. Decide for yourself. Exercise your right to choose. The decision is yours. You choose your path, Sagittarius. You choose. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law 
and order of the universe. It is your turn to receive, Sagittarius. Allow people to give to you. Allow people to help you. And that's the thing is you're very independent, aren't you? Very independent. At this time, you're being called to allow others to help you. It's your turn to receive. Allow somebody in to help you, Sagittarius. Capricorn. Oh, we got to do these first. Capricorn. Capricorn. Ooh, connection, connection. Inspire passion, passionate connection. Connect with someone special. A loved one is a gift to treasure. Open your heart, Capricorn. You have an opportunity to connect with someone special. Consider it a gift. Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be boring. Let me start over. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. And it could be a sacred connection. If you are connecting with somebody, it could be a sacred soulmate connection. Okay? There's an opportunity for passion. And a new beginning. It's an opportunity for a new beginning, Capricorn. It's time for you. It's time for you to allow somebody into your life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you to all that is sacred. Aquarius. Stay connected. Take a risk. You have the power within to move mountains, Aquarius. Take a risk. Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in this physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to source, have faith, take a risk. Something is urging you to do something out of your comfort zone. Don't pull away from that connection. Go for it. You are being called to do something and you and then the risk is holding you back. Don't just do it. Just do it. You may yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life. You are being called to take a risk and you're afraid. Just do it. And Pisces. Pisces. Oh. oh, choice, choice. Mm. 
Reconsider a commitment. Oh. Ugh. You have the right to change your mind. A mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time. A mother that has passed. Or not, but a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Perhaps even with a commitment that you're with or that you need to reconsider. There's a there's a special bond that cannot be broke that can never be broken and your mother is telling you that. Or some female that has passed. I'm speechless. Reconsider a commitment. You have the right to change your mind, Pisces. It is what it is. And that's what I have for today. June 26th.